The concept of scarcity can be illustrated by looking at a position such as point F. Point F lies outside the production possibility curve. Comparing it with point D, at F we could produce both more food and more guns than at D. It seems this would be a better point to be at, and we would certainly like to be at point F. But in reality, sadly, we can't reach this point, as we simply do not have enough resources to get there. Remember, the production possibility curve indicates the potential production we can reach given our resources. We cannot produce more than this. Unfortunately, on the other hand, it is possible to produce less than the capacity reflected by the production possibility curve. However, this will be inefficient. Let's look at this in a bit more detail. Inefficiency is illustrated at a point inside the production possibility curve, such as point G. Comparing point G now with point D, we're producing less food and fewer guns. Society would be better off if we were back at point D, which is reachable since it lies on the production possibility curve. The reason we're not at point D is because we're not making efficient use of our resources, and G indicates a point of inefficiency. So, we can see that it is possible to produce any combination of goods up to the production possibility curve, but not beyond it. This is why it is sometimes called the production possibility frontier. No combination to the right of the curve or beyond it is possible, while any combination of guns and food to the left of the production possibility curve will be inefficient. So the best will be to try to produce somewhere along the production possibility curve. The production possibility curve can also be used to illustrate opportunity cost. To illustrate opportunity cost, we'll compare point C with point E. At both points, we're using all of our available resources, such as land, capital, labour and technology, to produce food and guns. We're making an efficient use of our resources. At point C, we're able to produce 550 tonnes of food and 2 million guns. But as we move down to point E, resources are moved away from food production towards the production of guns. Consequently, food output declines and the production of guns increases. At point E, we'll produce 250 tonnes of food and 5 million guns. So the opportunity cost of making more guns is the drop in food production. In this case, the opportunity cost of producing 3 million more guns is a decline of 300 tonnes of food production.